So, you have a Sonic sequel for me? Yes, sir, I do. Amazing. So do we stick with the cute Sonic design, or do we go back to that original Nightmare one we had? I mean, I was thinking the cute one. You sure? Because we got a ton of press from the one that looked like it drank blood. Yeah, no, I think we go with the cute one, for sure. Okay, so what happens in this thing? Well, Sonic's human friends Tom and Maddie travel to Hawaii, right? Using one of Sonic's portal rings. Kind of raises some security questions that they could just travel that way. No, it doesn't. So they gotta go there, because Maddie's sister Rachel's getting married there at whatever luxury resort gives us the most money for product placement. Oh, I like the sound of that. I'm gonna get four seasons on the phone. So Sonic is left at home alone, and that's when Robotnik's gonna come for him. Oh no, how does he manage that? Well, since the events of the first movie, Robotnik's been on another planet eating mushrooms, trying to communicate with other planets. Been there. And eventually a portal opens and Knuckles the Echidna comes through. He's from the games! He sure is, sir. He's red. Wow, 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 wow. Yes, so Knuckles wants to know where Robotnik got this blue Sonic quill, because he's trying to find something called the Master Emerald. Okay. So Robotnik says he can show him the way so he can get off this mushroom planet. Smart. And he's gonna do that flossing dance too, that's gonna be fun for kids. Okay, I mean, people already said that was old when we did it in the last Sonic movie. Well, that's the thing about internet references, sir. They just get better with age. That's not accurate. So anyway, now Robotnik and Knuckles are at Sonic's door, and Knuckles is beating the crap out of him. Oh no. Yeah, and Sonic's trying to use his super speed, but he's no match for this guy, because he's fast too. Jeez, well sounds like he's met his match. Gonna be hard to get out of that situation. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, because see, Tails drives in with a cop car and hits Knuckles with it. He was able to dodge the fastest creature on the planet, but not a human vehicle. That's what we're going with, so he and Sonic run away. And so why is Tails here now? Well, he's been watching Sonic from another planet for a while and decides to come help him. Uh, watching people from a distance is tight. Yeah, well, to be honest, it's creepy when you do it, sir, but Tails is cute, so it's okay. That's fair. So they go take a look at this map that Longclaw the Owl had left Sonic, and this hologram message pops out. Why does it activate now? Because the movie's plot is underway now. Oh, okay, gotcha. So they find out they need to go to Siberia to get their hands on this compass that'll lead them to the Emerald. Very chilly. <laughs> so they end up in the Siberian bar wearing disguises, but their disguises get taken off. Oh, is everybody freaked out by the two little aliens in their bar? No, that's not how people would react. They're gonna challenge them to a dance-off, obviously. What? Why? Because this way we can have a dance-off scene. Right. Plus the Siberian people get a hold of the map, so if Sonic wants it back, he's gotta dance. He can move so fast the time stands still. He's gotta dance, there's no other way, so he and Tails dance to Uptown Funk. Or the hottest track of 2014. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they win. They do. Amazing. So they're gonna end up finding the compass up in these mountains, but Knuckles and Robotnik swoop in and steal it. Oh no. Yeah, now there's an avalanche, so they've gotta do something. Something. So what do they do? Well, Sonic calls Tom and tells him to use a portal ring to bring them to Hawaii, but Tom realizes he switched up the portal ring with the wedding ring. Oh, so he goes and explains the mix-up to her? Well, no, because if he explained it, there wouldn't be much room for comedy, so he's just gonna try to grab the ring during the ceremony without any context. That is funnier than him trying to solve it rationally with his words. That's right, sir. So then Sonic and Tails and an avalanche come through a portal into the wedding. Very wacky hijinks. And then we find out that Rachel's fiancé and the whole whole wedding party, they were agents this whole time. What? Yeah, they had one of their guys get into a long-term relationship with Sonic's human sister-in-law so they could hopefully trap Sonic one day. That doesn't make any sense. They planned a whole wedding, flew all their agents to Hawaii, booked a luxury resort, all because they wanted to catch Sonic. How could they have even known that Sonic would show up there? He was just escaping an avalanche. Yeah, no, they didn't know. How could they have predicted the avalanche? They didn't know he'd be there. If they knew he was involved with that family, why not just show up at the house instead of fake seducing and marrying? Marrying the sister-in-law. Oh, well, don't worry, sir, because they actually did fall in love. What? Who, the sister and the agent? Yeah, I mean, obviously at first when she finds out she's gonna be very mad, she's gonna go all bridezilla, rampage around. I... She chases him around and everything, drives a golf cart, looks badass. Okay, and where's Sonic during this whole thing? But when the agent finally gets a chance to explain himself, he's gonna explain that he really did fall in love with her, even though this started out as just a plan. This is a Sonic movie, right? Where is he? So they're gonna be all right, sir. This agent and Ray Rachel, I think they're gonna be all right. Why are we spending so much time on this? Where's Sonic? Oh, right, okay, yeah, I guess we could be done with this random romantic comedy shoved into the middle of this movie with side characters that have little to no impact on the plot. Okay, back to Sonic. I mean, yes, please. Anyway, so in the meantime, Robotnik got his hands on the Emerald, which lets him, like, create anything he wants. Uh-oh. Yeah, so they see this massive sky beam from the coast of Hawaii, so Sonic's gotta get there. Well, well, thank God the wedding happened to be taking place with invisible distance of the Emerald. Yeah, it worked out great. Hey, so hold on, we have a 
sky beam and a bad guy with similar powers but a different color? Yeah. We making a freaking Marvel movie over here? Well, kinda, sir, except by the end of this movie, Knuckles is gonna be a good guy. Oh, he is? Yeah, he learned the power of friendship and whatnot. Oh, sick! So Robotnik's gonna create this giant Eggman robot and they're gonna have to fight it. Very exciting. So then Sonic turns into Super Sonic and he cuts the head off this robot and he pushes Robotnik down from hundreds of feet in the air. Oh, my God. What? Sonic just straight up kills a guy? Even Batman pretends to not do that. Well, we don't know if he's dead or not. Right, but Sonic knocks him down from a fatal height and doesn't help him. Yeah, he does. That's... That's pretty intense. No, it's not, actually. So then everybody's friends and everybody's happy and don't think about that pushing a guy to his death thing too much and they play baseball with Knuckles. Wow, well, it sounds like a fun movie, you know? Yeah, it will be. Plus, in this one, Jim Carrey's gonna have the big mustache and the bald head like Robotnik. Ah, so maybe in the next movie we could put him in a big round fat suit, you know, complete the transformation. That'd be kind of perfect, sir. I don't see why we couldn't do that. Hi everybody, Ryan here. Thanks for watching that pitch meeting. I hope you liked it. If you didn't know, pitch meeting is now on its own channel, so if you could subscribe, that would help a lot. You can also leave a comment down below letting me know what other movies you want to see pitches for. Also happy to announce that YouTube has just introduced the like button. Excited to see what that's about. If you see it, uh, feel free to click on it. Don't know what it does. Goodbye now.